close your eyes, watch your breath. Think boot with the in-breath, toe with the out, boot toe. It's a quality of the Buddha that we want to imbue in our hearts and our minds, the quality of being awake, being alert, knowing what you're doing, knowing the results of what you're doing, and trying to do it skillfully. That's the quality we want to develop. That's the quality we admire in the Buddha himself. He was able to develop his mind, develop his heart to the point where he was got all beyond suffering entirely. He was able to teach that to other people. Today is Asala Pucha. This is the day commemorating the, the day in which he gave his first sermon and led another person to the first taste of awakening. That's quite an accomplishment. It's very rare to have a Buddha, and it's even rarer to have a Buddha who can teach. So we'd like to commemorate that, to remember that this is an important event in human history. These are the sorts of things that are important, not the wars that are fought or the whoever was king, whoever was in power. That's not the important thing. The important thing is that human beings have found this ability to go beyond suffering, and they're able to teach it. That, of course, is a challenge to us. Can we go beyond our own suffering? All the teachings are there. It's just a matter of putting them into practice. That name, Asalaha Bucha, the word Bucha means to pay homage. And tonight we'll be having a candlelight ceremony. But it's not the ceremony that's the real homage. The real homage is when you practice. You develop virtue, concentration, discernment. These are the qualities that the Buddha taught, and these are the qualities that he wants us to imbue in our hearts. And that was the only homage he asked for, was that we show him respect by Practicing his, teach, practicing his teachings, really giving them a real test to see if they're true or not. He was confident that they would withstand any honest test. So we have to make sure that we can give them an honest test. That's where we develop our own powers of concentration and discernment, so that we can be more honest about our actions and see where we're causing harm to ourselves, harm to other people, and that we can stop. We don't have to cause that harm. That's an important lesson. It's the same with your mind right now. Your mind could be wandering off, but it doesn't have to. It can stay right here. And when it stays right here, it can develop a sense of well-being that's more solid than the happiness you get from wandering around. So give this a try. Give this an honest test. That's what the monks did when they were listening to his sermon that night. And one of them reached what they call the, uh, the, diet, <coughs> the eye of dharma, seeing the same truth that the Buddha had found. That's something that's potential in all of us, so make sure you make the best use of your potential as a human being. And though, even though no one may remember the day when you gain awakening, you'll remember it. It'll be the most important thing in your life. <laughs>